NPP National President Konrad Sangma, who will be sworn in as the Chief Minister tomorrow, that is the 7th of March, today said that the commitments made by the previous government on issues like resolving the border dispute, ILP resolution, inclusion of Khasi and Garo languages and more still stands. He also said that in a few months' time, the new government will be ready with a final design for shifting of the Secretariat to New Shillong Township. Sworn in yet, uh, tomorrow is a swearing in ceremony, so once that is done, the cabinet will meet and then we will decide. But of course, our objective will be to resolve the border issue within this five, five years. So so not within this five years, I'm not saying five years, we'll try to do it even as early as possible. So just adding on to what he asked, uh, will your commitment still be for the long pending issues like the inclusion of Kasi Garo languages? As well absolutely. As absolutely, absolutely. These commitments will remain. These are commitments we've made in the past. The the uh, overall uh, structure of the coalition has not changed in the terms of uh, the partners who are there, which I'm very, very happy. And uh, I'm feeling very, uh, you know, at, uh, in a way, very nice that uh, all our old friends are back, we're together. And uh, as I said, uh, many challenges were there, but we stuck together. And uh, even the election was tough, but, you know, a lot of things were said. But we've put all of them behind and decided that in the interest of the state, we work forward. So obviously all the issues that were taken up in the past will be uh, will continue to push for those. So there's going to be a one major shift in our entire process, which is that we are going to be shifting the Secretariat to a new location. We have already identified the location in the past, and the process of doing the master plan for that has already started. Uh, we expect that within a few months we should be able to come to a final uh, design and all those aspects and uh, let's hope that we can do that so I do expect that in this five years uh, we will see a major decondition of Shillong in terms of the administration uh, going out this will be right next to the IT park so it's not going to be very far away so right next, right next to the IT park in uh, Maupat uh, area so that area we expect the secretariat uh, to come up we are doing the final planning and uh, of course uh, as I said, uh, I don't want to go into details too much because obviously the swearing hasn't taken place yet. We have not sat as a cabinet. And once we start sitting, we will discuss about all these issues. But this is what we had started in the past. So I'm just telling you what has already happened in the past. Uh, number two, of course, um, we are, uh, uh, traffic has been a major challenge throughout uh, you know, the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And more and more vehicles, as they come in, uh, this challenge is going to go up. So uh, we are looking at all options of ensuring how we can get elevated roads done, uh, you know, or flyovers, what they call them. So these aspects, uh, you know, are being examined and seen, but it's not easy, as you said. It's long, it's very congested, and uh, most of the time we don't get the space to then put up two, three pillars to uh, get elevated roads done. Uh, so those challenges are there, but uh, let's hope that uh, we are able to take forward the plans uh, we had earlier to create the parking lots. There are a lot of parking lots already in the smart city plan, which are, uh, which have already been uh, the ball is set uh, is rolling on that aspect. But we'll try to create more parking lots. Uh, we are going to uh, go into the skywalks, which I decided earlier also, but we couldn't go ahead with that. In fact, one is already the master plan is done for it. So you will see very very soon. Hopefully within this year itself, we will complete the first skywalk, which is uh, one that's going to be from. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Barik Point uh, and the entire uh, PWD complex to Police Bazaar. So this is going to be an elevated uh, footpath and uh, of course in, in a very very modern design. It's not going to be like a, uh, you know, a, a very raw design. It's going to be very very uh, beautiful design which will of course add to the beauty of the city itself. So all these measures are there but I'll, I'll talk about that a bit later.